All right, uh, in this video, we're going to see how to combine sums and uh, differences of uh, uh, log terms uh, into a single logarithm uh, using properties of uh, um, logs. So we've got uh, four examples here. We're going to work on the first two, and then we're going to give you a chance to work on the last two. So, uh, in the first instance, um, we've got 2 log a squared. We just have uh, the four properties of logs that we're going to be using mainly here. Uh, although it's uh, really the first three uh, that we'll be using a lot. So, we've got uh, log a squared uh, in the first example. Um, plus log a plus log a minus 3 log a minus 3 log a uh, <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do here uh, we notice that these two are like terms that's log a minus 3 log a so we're going to write this log a squared minus 2 log a. Um, and then we're going to tidy up the coefficients as it were. So this property here says n times log x is log x to the power n. So that means this first term here. It's going to be log a squared to the power 2, where this 2 is now what was the coefficient. Same thing here, this is going to be log a squared. And then um, <clears throat> um, a squared squared is a to the power 4. So that's uh, what our expression is going to look like now. Then from the second property log of x minus log y is log x over y. So this we can now write as log a to the power 4 over a squared. Of course, a to the power 4 over a squared is just a squared. So that makes our expression just uh, simplifies to a squared. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, for the second one, we've got 4 plus 2 log 3a cubed. Um, so 4 plus 2 log 3a cubed. This is to base 3 minus <clears throat> 1 half log 8 1 a to the power 12 so that's log a to 1 a to the power 12 uh, <clears throat> also to base 3 right before we continue this one we have got a, a small issue that we need to sort out um, in terms of like terms so this is a log base 3 term that's a log base 3 term but this one is not a log base 3 so <clears throat> we're going to have to write this in terms of log base 3 um, there is a result uh, that says the log of b base b is equal to 1. Okay, so this is because b to the power 1 is b. So if that is equal to 1, so that means in this case we want base 3, so that means log 3 base 3 is equal to 1. And from that, it means 
4, of course, is 4 times 1. So 4 is the same as 4 log 3 base 3. So that means we can write this 10 as 4 times log 3 base 3. And then now all the terms are in terms of log base 3. So this one is <clears throat> 3a cubed and then the last one is minus 1 half log of a to 1 a to the power of 12. So now we are okay because all of them are in terms of log base 3. The next thing I want to do is use the power rule. So this one is going to be log 3 to the power 4. I'll take this up. And uh, the second term is going to be log 3a cubed to the power of 2. <clears throat> and the last term is going to be log 81 a to the power 12 all raised to the power one half okay then uh, if we simplify those powers 3 to the power 4 is 81 then here 3 squared is 9 so that's 9 a cubed squared is a to the power 6 Okay. And then for the last one, 81 to the power half, that's square root 81, it's going to be 9. Um, and uh, a to the power 12 raised to the power half, which is going to be a to the power 6. Um, at this point, you're going to notice that uh, this is exactly the same term as that one, so that cancels out. Uh, so that means we're just going to be left out with uh, the first term. But the first term was 4, so this is just going to simplify to 4. Alright, uh, now we would like to encourage you to have a go. At C and D, so you can just pause the video and then uh, work through them uh, when you finish, uh, and then continue the video. Then you can compare with our solution. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to uh, what is going to be our solution for part C and D would like to thank you for visiting our channel and uh, watching our videos we do uh, hope uh, that uh, you find them very helpful all right so for example number c we have got uh, lean uh, three times uh, lean 2x squared minus uh, lean of 16 x to the power 7. So the first thing we need to do is to tidy up uh, this coefficient. So that's going to go up and become a power. Uh, this one is just lean 16x to the power 7. And then uh, 2 cubed is 8. 8 a x squared cubed is x to the power of 6 and uh, this is minus uh, lean uh, 16 x to the power 7 so then using the second property 
so lean of x minus lean of y is lean of x divided by y then from here uh, x to the power 6 over x to the power 7 is 1 over x 8 over 16 is 2 so that's going to be lean of 1 over 2x okay then going to d we have got 3 minus 4 log of 2 a squared base 2 plus 2 times log of 8a to the power of 4 base 2. So again here we need to write the first term in terms of log 2. Now, so we say that 1 is log B base B. So in terms of log 2, that is going to be log 2 base 2. And then now, it is a like term to the other two terms. 2 log 8a to the power of 4. Okay, then this is going to be log 2 to the power 3. And this is going to be 2a squared to the power 4. Um, and then this one is going to be log 8a to the power 4 squared. And then simplifying here. Is going to be log 8 minus log 2 to the power 4 is 16 uh, 8 to the power 8 and then 8 squared is 64 a to the power 4 squared is a to the power of 8 then, um, so just between these two, we have got a minus. So that means we're going to have 8 over 16, 8 to the power 8. Okay. And then plus, uh, this is still 64. 8 to the power 8 and then now in between these two we've got a plus so that means it's going to be log of what we already have here times what is inside that uh, log expression base 2 now we can simplify uh, so, uh, 16 goes into 64 four times, so this four times, 8 to the power 8 and 8 to the power 8 cancels out, so this is log uh, 32 base 2, but 32 is 2 to the power of 5. And by the laws or the property of powers of logs, it's 5 log 2 base 2. Log 2 base 2 is 1, so this thing is working out to just 5. All right, thank you for watching.